Hello and welcome to Hairdressing Live. We have Hungarian hairdressing educator Stephen Buzassi. He's just come over from Hungary, uh, Budapest actually, and joined us um, today for two masterclasses. That's amazing. Thank you and welcome to the show. Welcome you guys on Hairdressing Live. Come and uh, this is a very good opportunity for me and thank you for your kindness. Welcome. Thank you. Um, this how, is how, was your, uh, how was your visit so far? Because you arrived yesterday, didn't you? It was fantastic. Dublin is a very lovely city. We had a huge walk uh, yesterday at the park and uh, around the city, uh, small uh, bars and uh, small restaurants. Yeah. And it's pretty we good saw... weather as well, right? Isn't yeah, it? absolutely. It's, it's almost nice. summer here. Yeah, it's your first time here as well, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. This okay. is the first time. Yeah. Are you going to come back again, maybe? Yeah, or maybe. <laughs> maybe next uh, weekend, I guess. And the girls <laughs> had a good time as well, the two models. We have uh, two Hungarian models over as well, which is great. You brought over with you. Yeah. Um, already, um, I'm excited about the classes this afternoon. There's two different types of haircuts you're going to be doing with us anyway. But before we get into that, um, tell our audience a little bit about you, um, a little bit about your history, um, about your business and your education and everything. So if you could just explain a little bit. Um, my history is a little bit crazy because uh, in 2008, uh, our family uh, was 100 years in this industry. That's... Uh, uh, Mental to hear, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so, a so bizarre to hear. Chaotic. That's the most uh, most exciting part of that. I've never wanted to be Did a hairdresser. Did you do a bit of a celebration? <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, with my father and in the uh, with my family. So uh, we okay. celebrated uh, this. Uh, uh, this event, but... Uh, was, were they all hairdressers or barbers or different... Just hairdressers. Just hairdressers? Yeah. Okay. Everybody was a hairdresser. Um, the, your mum, dad, is it just your dad's side? Um, mum is not a hairdresser, uh, okay. but uh, he's working with my father, so uh, she's almost a hairdresser, I okay. guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, but one of the most uh, exciting parts that I've never wanted to be a hairdresser, so I think this is the funniest part of the story, <laughs> <laughs> because I always wanted to be a movie director. Oh, and did always, you? Yeah, always okay. wanted to work with movies, so... Uh, Okay. Um, You're a bit of a movie buff, were you? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Do you watch loads of movies? Yeah, a lot of movies. Our Brian over here is a big movie buff. But let's not go there because we don't have enough time to get into all those movies. But this guy's a big, big movie buff, actually. So you nice. have to talk to him afterwards. Yeah. You check your uh, general knowledge on the uh, movies. <laughs> But listen, yeah, go, go on and tell us about your uh, After I can get in the university, the uh, National Hungarian um, Movie Academy, mm -hmm. uh, my father just asked me what I want to do. And I said, I really don't know. So yeah. uh, he, just, uh, he just pushed me to um, get into a hairdressing school mm -hmm. in Hungary. And after I, uh, I finished it, uh, I started to work in our family saloon, <clears throat> the capital of Budapest. Okay. Uh, but honestly, in the first one or two years, it wasn't my year. So... Uh, it's really be hard to uh, hard to think of stuff which you don't want to choose uh, before. Uh, but after uh, my father just, um, I start to work with my father in shows and seminars and educations. Mm -hmm. And this part of the industry is very, uh, I guess it fits for me. Or I just it's vibrant, it's yeah. colourful, yeah, yeah. it's exciting. And inspiring also, mm. and just, I think I just fell in love in this. What, what was, what was the, the downside to it? You didn't, you, you didn't like the, or well, the, the unmotivated, you didn't like the, the assistant roles or what was? Is I was in a technician. Uh, technician. I helped I help with my father in uh, coloring and uh, prepare the models. Uh, so okay. just hanging around, you know, and watch and learn. But did you, you just said a second ago that you didn't like the, the one part of the, the job and you, you got more motivated by the shows and everything like yeah. that, was it? Yeah, uh, I think... Uh, was it day, the day-to-day -day running of the business? Is it day-to-day -day uh, working in if, the business? Uh, I, I worked in a business uh, with, uh, with uh, customers, but okay. uh, I think it's it just not fit, fit for me. Okay. So after a few years, I have to decide uh, what I want to do, educate or work in a saloon, and I, yeah. and I just um, I decide I want to educate, okay. like my father as well. Um, so he just does that full time. Yeah. Right now, uh, I work with clients just one uh, one day per week, okay. every uh, Thursday. So this is the this is my uh, chilling day, I guess. Okay. Uh, okay. But the rest of the day, I educate in Hungary, uh, in in the for uh, for Lakme Hungary. Lakme Hungary. Uh, it's it's a Spanish brand uh, from Barcelona. Okay. Uh, I, I uh, educate uh, Hungarian hairdressers how to. Uh, how to color hair with the uh, lakme, how to cut hair in the lakme way, and how to use products, and also organize the educations. So, um, and the other part of the circle of Budapest, which is my uh, own, um, own child, I guess. Yeah. Uh, this uh, started like an um, online education. Okay. Just we had a small YouTube channel, and we uh, record a lot of videos 
with Hungarian hairdressers. Every hairdresser had two minutes to show uh, their uh, skills and their imagination about hair. Okay, brilliant. Uh, but uh, I think it just grow, grown and grown and grown every year. So we have to figure out what we want to do with it, with this. And now uh, we want to start a new uh, education studio in Budapest uh, for Circa Budapest. Okay. And uh, want to uh, create a website with a stream, online streaming um, menu. Okay, very good. Yeah. Very good indeed. So you've got loads going on with yourself. Yeah, you keep keeping yourself busy. Yeah, I, th I think yeah. But every 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 person has a, has a goal to what they want to achieve because without goals, it's very struggling, I guess. Yeah, I think especially yeah, I think in this industry. I think you need to structure it out a little bit yeah. um, and understand where you're going. Yeah. Really, don't you? Yeah. Um, otherwise, you don't know what you're working for. You yeah. Know? Um, I think that's a good good. And keep giving yourself goals, and you reach those goals and issue new goals that way. This is how you can forward. raise. Yeah. Well, it's progressive, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, our industry is progressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have to be <coughs> progressive. You've got to keep, keep evolving. Um, I sat there with uh, Eugene Solomon yesterday, and I, yes, I am name dropping there. <laughs> we were just in London Fashion Week, and we were sat with himself, and he was just saying the, the same thing. He doesn't know everything, and he feels like he, he, he's always constantly learning. And it's, it's a true, true fact. I know loads of hairdressers say, say this as well, but it is so, so true. We do not know everything, and we're moving yeah. forward into, into an industry or realms that we are, are uncharted, and we don't know where we're going until we actually reach there. You know, and We've got to keep pushing ourselves and um, reaching new goals. Yeah, way. my and father always, cool. my father always said to me, if you, if you know, if you, if you know that you know everything, you just lie to yourself. Yeah, yeah, I very think. true. That's a good, yeah. good, good uh, what your father just said there. <coughs> um, listen, um, tell us about who, who is your muse? Who would you say your muse is in your hairdressing uh, industry? I think, uh, yeah, first is my father <coughs> because he's my, he's my biggest mentor, I guess. Okay. Uh, I think I'm very proud of him because uh, he he started to me uh, start this industry, and also um, also teach me a lot. Not just about hair, how to how to handle hair, how to how to handle your life, how to um, how to live, how to live your live your life. Uh, he has a huge background uh, in this industry and the, without uh, inside of this industry as well. Mm -hmm. But um, I think one of the most um, impressed person is maybe with us Sassoon and also uh, Longeras, uh, the Spanish uh, hairdresser, and there are a lot of uh, thousands. Uh, not just from this industry, because I, I have a lot of uh, muse from uh, the movies industry, from music, uh, musicians and architecture, so mm -hmm. um, I, I'm, re I'm really, uh, really a lot of things inspires me. Not just not just hair, music, jazz, movies, literature, history, architecture. So, everything which which complains art, I yeah. think. No, I to totally agree. I mean, uh, architecture, music. I mean, even just being, even just travel as well. When you go to different cities. Yeah. I mean, just in uh, like Camden yesterday, and I, I was just like walking around Camden, and I just sort of see the vibrancy, the colourfulness of that, and it's just the multicultural. Um, uh, you know, loads of different fashion trends, and it's so so nice and so refreshing to see. And if I've been to Budapest, and you know, it, again, you see a different sort of culture, and you know, you Absolutely. take you take inspiration from many walks of life, and it's so so nice to um, to be able to you know work in an industry that we can you know take in such in inspiration. It's really really good. Um, what's your favourite memory so far? What would you be uh, in this industry? Uh, I think. Uh, one of the most uh, exciting part when I was uh, London first time, uh, the Sassoon Academy. Okay. I think this this was the most inspiring for me, and this is the moment when I, I uh, I just decide that uh, yeah, this is what I want to do. Mm -hmm. This is this is this is the part of the job what I what I really want: learn and educate and taking courses. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, one of the most uh, most uh, memorable thing when I was at. Um, Ricciona uh, in Italy, and I saw Angelo Seminara the first time okay. <coughs> on stage, yeah, and you know yeah. it, it just was the huge, huge memory. Uh, he cut hair with a uh, with a machine, and he styled hair, and just you know watching him is a huge inspire, yeah. huge inspiring thing. It's just you could just sit there and watch him all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. amazing. All day, I guess. Such a such an inspiration, such yeah. a, a creative mind. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, very much so. 
Um, listen, can you uh, tell our viewers a little bit about the classes that you're going to be doing with us today? Absolutely. Um, what we're going to do today is two master class. Uh, the first going to be it's a mixture of a classic fundamental bob mm -hmm. uh, haircut with uh, disconnections and the layering technique because I want to achieve a softness and heaviness at the same time. Okay. And the second uh, will be uh, some kind of a pixel look, uh, but it's not a typical pixel look. Uh, I just want to give frames yeah. for my model's face. Okay. And I it's want quite to a bespoke pixie look, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just it's a modern that. pixie, maybe, yeah, contemporary yeah. pixie, yeah, or I don't yeah, know what, yeah. how can I say it. Um, but the second haircut will, uh, will uh, show a lot of frames. Yeah. Frames on the fringe, frames on the back, frames on the outlines. Also, a uh, little bit graduations and layers uh, in the internal shapes Brilliant. as well. Brilliant. I cannot wait for these classes anyway. Um, and I'm sure you can't as well. So you can, I mean, Philippa, can we put the link in the bottom of the, the Facebook page there? So um, for those of you who don't have tickets or you wanted to su subscribe, you can um, go to the link below and actually subscribe there. For all the subscribers out there, all you have to do on the website now, there's a blue button on each of the pages. You can just click directly on that and put your account details in and you are logged straight into the live class. So we look forward to seeing you at 11 o'clock, okay? Thank See you, you guys much. later. Thank you, Thank very, you very much. much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. If you like what you've seen, leave a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.